Hey guys, this is New Sensei, and today I thought I'd present a, uh, a brief uh, video covering something a little different. Um, in my video in which I covered the recurve versus compound uh, decision, um, I mentioned that uh, a compound bow is generally easier to shoot well with. Um, and this can be uh, misunderstood to mean that compound bows are easier to shoot, which is a general statement. Um, when people say that compound bows are easy to shoot, I think it's more accurate to say that it's easier to become consistent with, um, and the bow does generally shoot them more accurately than uh, a recurve bow. Uh, but it's not easier to compete with, and this, this is a very big distinction because a lot of people confuse these two things. Now, uh, the reason I brought this up is because um, I just did the uh, Victorian State Short Range Championship, which is hosted at uh, Diamond Valley Arches. And you see the website here. Um, hello, DVA. Um, so Diamond Valley hosted the uh, the Short Range Championship. Um, we had a very uh, large field. Uh, I believe the figure was about 185 um, competitors that registered. Not everyone turned up, but uh, about 170 odd uh, people turned up. And uh, we shot a feet to 900. And uh, this is a, an interesting round to analyze because uh, it's, a, it's a 900 point round, 90 arrows, uh, 30 arrows each at 60, 50 and 40 meters. And the reason why I want to go through some of the scores here is because um, I want to highlight the level of competition that a compound shooter has to go through compared to a recurve shooter. Again, um, I'm not saying that compounds are easy to shoot. What I'm saying is that it's easier to score consistently, which means that it's harder to be competitive with. Uh, so if you're picking a bow based on competition, um, you will find that you can score high as a compound, but you, 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 it's very hard to place as a compound just because of how uh, tight the competition is. Now I'm going to take a look at the open men's uh, compound, and I'm going to find that over here, open men's compound. Okay, so. Uh, there's a list of, uh, what, 34 competitors, two to compete, so 32 shooters. Uh, we'll go through the list from first to, well, last, and we'll, I'll read out the, the, um, the, the score gap. This is the each distance and the grand total. Now, you'll probably recognize some of these names, especially if you're Australian. So, James Park, uh, obviously a very well known Australian coach, author, uh, trainer, uh, shooter, of course. So, uh, he's, uh, he, he came first place, as he usually does <laughs> in, uh, in Victorian competitions. Uh, I like how he got a 299 for his, uh, 4 meter distance. Very close there. We've been heartbroken. But, uh, he's got 879 for the first place. So this is open men's compound, 879 out of 900, 70, 10, 33 X's. This isn't too important for me right now, but look at the scores. And second place, 877, that's two point difference. Third place, 875, two point difference. Fourth place, one point difference. Fifth place, two points. Sixth place, one point. Two points, three points, two points, uh, actually, this, this is a ninth and tenth were tie, 864 out of 900. Uh, that was decided on the tens and X's. So, um, that's right. Yes, yeah, so more, more tens and X's. Uh, and then we have two points. Actually, uh, another tie. So 11, 12 was a tie. Uh, 13, 14 was a tie, one point difference. And a lot of these guys are very highly skilled shooters. These are state or national level shooters. So even on a, you know, a good day, these guys will have some fluctuations in the results. So just because you, you know, rank high in one, uh, uh tournament round, uh, doesn't mean you consistently score high. So these guys have always been, um, vying against each other. Uh, and you see between first and tenth, you have less than 15 points. Okay, first and tenth is 15 points. Okay, between each one to run or two. If we go down the list further, one point, uh, two points, one point, five points, uh, and some start, um, trailing down here. But, you know, from, uh, like, if we go from like a, like a 50 point difference, uh, that's, uh, eight and five. So looking at from first to 26, uh, 20, yeah, 26 is a 50 point difference. 
Okay, that is the gap between a compound shooter. So most people who are ranking in top 10 are about one or two points apart, and from, and from one to like, uh, you know, 30th is around, it's less than 100 points. Okay, so that's the compound spread. The point is, it's a very close match. If we go to, um, uh, open, uh, women's compound, I'm trying to find that, oh, yeah, open women's compound, we see a very similar pattern. Uh, 858 out of, uh, 900. Um, so that's three points, uh, ten points, ten points. Yep, yeah, there, there's a bit of a bigger spread here. I think the the female field is a bit less competitive, but the men's field is a very tight competition. See, this is the the level you're aiming at if you're shooting a compound. Um, again, like a lot of these guys are are competent shooters. They're good shooters. Uh, but to be on the uh, like the the elite level, you need to be at this level or above. Actually, now if you compare that to the open men's Rico, I'm trying to find that. We go open men's Rico. Here we go. So we had a uh, thirteen competitors who uh, who uh, participated. Let's look at the scores now. Uh, first place is Alec Potts. Now I don't count him because he's probably like, one of the best um, Rico shooters uh, in the nation right now. Definitely Victoria is is top ranked in Victoria both in junior and open. Um, and he is, I think, fourth nationwide at the moment. Well, that's going to change uh, with the recent results. So he's probably a future Olympian. So he's obviously kind of above the rest. So he's 50 points clear of uh, second place. Now, these three guys, I know these guys, um, they're, they're state shooters or very close to it. So they always come very close to each other. So they've got 815 out of 900. Uh, 813, two point difference, and 811. So two points, two points, two points. So that's your, um, your, your top. Apart from Alec, uh, the, your top four, or your, your top three, are uh, a few points apart. And this is quite normal for a, a typical recurve field, where you have a very uh, tight uh, top tier. Um, then we've got a 20 point drop to five. Then 10 points, uh, 12 points, oh, you know, nine points, 10 points, uh, three points. So we have another kind of band here. This is kind of like your, your, your first class or your golden red band. And then you've got the, uh, 600. So that, that's a, uh, a, oh, that's an, that's a pretty big, uh, that, that is an 80 point gap between, uh, eighth and, that, that's me, by the way. So, uh, I've, I'm, I'm basically the top person in this band. So you have the top band. And the elite, elite, you have the top band, you have the next band, which is the 700s, which are around uh, 20 points apart, and then you have the 600s, so you have the 68, that's 20 points, 20 points and 10 points. And then we have, uh, you know, the, the tail end, which is 100 points down. Uh, normally, uh, I know Terry does a bit better than this, but point being is that, look, from, uh, from 1st to 10th, you have a gap of about 100, or well, 200 points. So let's say 10 is Andrew Kenny, he's 663, Alec Potts is 864, so between 1st and 10th, that's 200 points. You go back up to uh, Open Compound, 1st and 10th was how many points? Around 10 points. Okay, so between 10 points and 100 points, that's the gap. Uh, same story with the Women's Recurve, uh, a bit tighter, so we've got the competitive 704, 702. Uh, 690, it's a pretty close gap. Then 675, 660, 63, 618. This is actually a pretty decent uh, spread. Uh, but as you can see, um, between recurve and compound, the the gap between points is much different. So a re in, in, a, in a normal recurve, no matter what competition you do, I'm not talking about like world level competition, I'm talking about uh, state level, regional, club level, you have this spread. So you have the experienced shooters with a lot of uh, competition experience who have their act together. They can score consistently fairly high, um, but they're usually, uh, for the top tier, they're pretty close together, but you have this large trailing end for the recurve field. So you have the 800s, in this case I have 900, but you have the high scoring, and then you drop 100 points as you go down. For compound, it's one or two point difference. Again, if any of these guys missed a 10, um, it would have made all the difference. I mean, let me look at the distances. Uh, you know, Jim Park, 2, 8, 9, distance 1. This would have been a, a shocking result because um, Troy sc outscored him distance 1. Now, nobody else outscored him, which is, you know, some people tied him. Uh, but if you go to distance 2, it's a very tight field. So, you know, imagine you're shooting this as the ramp progresses. So, uh, you're behind, and then you're equal somebody else, and then you came through at the very end. So, this would have been, like, almost a last arrow breakthrough. Now, of course, we have the tiebreaker scores, but, you know, this would have been the last, every point makes a difference. It's a two-point win. So, in 
in every distance for a compound, you expect this. Now, this is a short distance shoot, 60 meters, 50 meters, 40 meters on a large face, the uh, the 120 centimeter face. This would have been uh, a fairly expected score. You might think, well, 300 is pretty hard. Um, it's because this is one of the easiest rounds to feed to 900. Um, it's a nice round to shoot, but it's also a very high expectation round. So if you want to be competitive, you've got to be a lot more accurate than this. So it's a very uh, you know tight field. You know, uh, I mean, if you look at the top five, I mean, the the scores were alternating. Some people were leading, some people weren't. So for compound, this will change very rapidly. For recurve, not as much. It does change, especially if you have very skilled shooters who are competing against each other. But for the most part, this is what you see. So this is just to sum up guys look at the recurve and compound uh division um again pick the bow you like to shoot they, they suit different uh, personalities and skill sets uh but if looking at a competition uh mindset it's easy to score higher with a compound but it's also harder to place higher because the standard is much higher uh whereas in recurve uh, it's probably harder to shoot a higher score because it does require a lot of good form and practice and patience um, and the spread is much larger. So if you're aiming at competition results and high finishes, it's probably easier to climb up the ranks as a recurve, whereas a compound, it's fairly hard to climb the ranks because there are so many people who shoot excellently. Anyway, thanks for the uh, for, for listening to my little ramble here. Hope this is interesting. Again, thanks to Diamond Valley Archers for hosting the uh, Victorian State Championships 2015. Great day, great venue. Uh, glad everyone enjoyed it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.